Hey guys, what's up? It's 2.16 p.m. I just got back from Boston. Probably one of the most unreal fishing trips of my entire life. Insane. I absolutely love those little or big striped babies. Those things are so much fun to catch. Anyway, that's not what today's video is about. Um, as you may see, I've got some got some packages. One uh, extremely long package to my right or your left and one extremely large package to my left. You're right. Now I may get shot down for this. A lot of my new subscribers right now are especially probably gonna be hesitant to watching this video, mainly because this is something I haven't done in a long time. That being a good old fashioned, traditional unboxing. Before I can get into what's inside these two packages, I gotta let you guys know, the rigged Keep Fishing Never Stop Trevally shirts are still available online. They're on sale for a limited time only. Click the link in the description below. You can get one yourself. I really like this design. I hope you like it too. I also really like Trevally, so I wanted to put a little cartoon Trevally on a pocket tee. Smells. Oh no! Lesson learned. One reel, two reel. Three, four. Let's do the reels first. I actually really like favorites reels. Um, obviously, that's why I'm working with them. I got a size 2500 and a size 2000, I hope. Yep, got them right. Cool. I don't really care about the box. I care about what's inside the box, so I'm just gonna rip right through this. One of my favorite parts about getting these reels is that you get a little pouch every time you buy a reel. All the reels come with a little pouch, which is nice because I do a lot of traveling and my reels get absolutely torn up in my, in my, in my what? Holy acorns, <laughs> did you hear that? Yeah, anyway, my reels get absolutely messed up when I'm traveling. TSA does not care about reels, so they like to damage my stuff. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna use the iPhone to get an up close shot of some of these uh, products for you guys. So this right here is the size 2500 favorite phantom spinning. Like I said, one of my favorite spinning reels that they make. It's around 100 bucks, I believe. Nice EVA foam grip there. Just a beautiful, sexy reel. It's got uh, nine ball bearings. It can hold. It can hold 130 yards of 25 pound test. I'll leave all the the boring logistics in the description. But for the most part, all I gotta say about this reel is I've used it for around four months now. Absolutely no problems. This is an absolute workhorse. So I got the smaller size, of course comes with the pouch, and then I got the larger Phantom. I got two of the Phantoms because they're the one I use the most. Drop shot stuff like this, the bigger one, tube, shaky heads, you know, the good old finesse stuff. What else What else would you use spinning for? Other than throwing 20 inch vegan swim baits. Then we got a Yamka River, Yampa. Yampa River, comes in the package, you already know. It's a cute little reel. I'm gonna use this for like crappie, panfish, bluegill, smaller species, trout. It's equally as sexy, not as sexy as this guy, but decent looking setup. If you're into trout and panfish, this is the reel they suggest to use, and that's what I'm gonna use it for. I might even try to catch some big fish on this reel because it's so small. And then last but not least, we've got one of their higher end spinning reels, not their best and their most prestigious one, but definitely a higher end. It's the favorite rush spinning. This one has 12 ball bearings, while this one has nine ball bearings. This one, is actually a lot lighter. This is kind of a heavy reel, but I don't really mind. And it's got, instead of EVA foam, it's got like this cork. This one's generally gonna last you longer. Although the Rush is a lot better than the Phantom, I would suggest the Phantom over the Rush only because it's less expensive. And I can speak on this. I haven't used this much. I mean, which one would you wanna buy? Just based off the looks. Anyway, I'm, that's just my personal opinion. Okay. Okay, onto the rods. I'm gonna put this death trap down. How much you wanna bet I slice off the tip of one of these rods with this hacksaw? Should I cut it like right here or? This is definitely safe, by the way. All you kids out there watching this video, this is totally acceptable and not dangerous at all. Now see, I don't really remember. I've got shopping blackout. I'll order stuff and completely forget what I got. I don't know if you guys experienced that same thing, but it's the best feeling because it's like a surprise. It's like Christmas all over again. Oh, to begin with, we got a piece of cardboard. That's kind of cool. Oh, nice. I now remember what I ordered. This is going to be really fun. Obviously, I got more rods than I did reels. Here we go. Here we go. So, like I said earlier, I'm trying out some new stuff from Favorite. I haven't used everything I ordered, but I have used some. I'm going to go over the first rods that I picked up. These are Phantoms. These are personally my favorite, just like the Phantom reels. I'm not biased. I just like the Phantoms a lot better because they're an inexpensive. 
This is the problem with filming outside. It's just always like airplanes, wind, acorns. Okay, so first one I got is a 7.3 medium heavy action. Oh, sorry, no, just kidding. This is a 7.3 heavy. It's good like heavy duty jig frogging setup, like small open water frog setup. I've used the 7.4, liked that one a ton, so I picked up the 7.3. Look how thick that blanket. This thing's serious. I like it. Okay, cool. Um, I haven't used any of their spinnings too much. This is a 7.2. It's like a tube rod. It's got a nice stout tip. It's like a fast tip. Perfect for, you know, big, big shaky heads, big tubes. Everything you see today will be linked in the description below. So if you see something you like, you can pick it up at favorite store. It helps me too. Every time you guys buy something, it's a, it's a huge plus. Wow, they do a really good job of packaging these things. That's all I gotta say. Also, in case you didn't notice, all of the uh, favorite rods too come in their own case. You get a free favorite rod sock for every rod you purchase. That's kind of cool. No matter what rod you get, you, you get a you get a rod sock, just like the reels. Oh, this is really sick. Okay, so there's a Yampa rod too, and I and I've never used this rod. And what I did is I got like a heavier Yampa. I've used the twiddle stick one, the one that is legit fairy wand. This is a seven foot. This thing feels so nice. This rod is actually super super nice. I completely forget what this rod retails for. I'm kind of curious now. Oh, the rod's about 150 bucks. Got like a wood handle. It feels like money. This is a super nice rod. The Yampa reel with the Yampa rod. Why is it called Yampa? It's such a funky name. That's a dirty little setup. It's like the high class setup for all you, all you fancy anglers out there. Wow. I'm gonna get a ton of use out of that thing. All right, up next. Up next, we have jerkbait rod. This is a favorite rush. This right here, this is a tiny rod. So this is like a really, really flimsy casting rod. It's a 6.6. Six. I got this for jerk baits and that's pretty much it. Nothing else. This is gonna be my jerk bait rod and my jerk bait rod only. Favorite rush, 6'6, six, six, it's a, I believe a medium. Got a fast tip to it, so perfect for twitch twitch pausing. For all you northern guys out there, this is the rod to get for jerk baits. I use this a ton in the springtime. It's also gonna be good for fall. Oh my god, shout out to favorite for packing these things with kryptonite. Holy picked up another uh six stick because I wanted another seven two. And honestly, I love these rods so much. I could have a whole boat full of these if I had a boat. This is the uh, six stick, it's a 7.2 I think. I used this in Africa, Texas, Illinois. This rod got a ton of use, not well, not this exact one, but the same model. Favorite just redesigned it, they got rid of those goofy microwave guides. It casts better, it's a lot lighter, and I like it a lot better too, it looks nicer with uh, my reels. So these are redesigned and back in stock. These are the ones I think you guys should check out. All the rods are good and they're great and I like them, but the six stick's my all time favorite. Uh, we got two more rods left. Wow, that was quick, I thought it'd be a lot longer than that. Next rod is a 7.6 Big Fat Sexy. It's not actually called a Big Fat Sexy, it's just called a Big Sexy. It's a good frog and stick, good Carolina rod. They beefed this one up. It used to have a flimsier tip, which I didn't really like, but they really, really made this thing into a, a cannon. It's a crazy looking rod. Probably the most insane rod I think I've ever seen or ever held in my hands. Look at that fat grip. There's a reason why this thing's called Big Sexy. All right, we got that. And then last but not least, I got a brand new drop shot rod. This rod, Never used. Don't even know anything about this rod, so this is gonna be all new for both of us. This is a balance. Apparently, Flair uses this rod a lot. It's a select series, whatever the hell that means. Moderate tip. Oh yeah, this is this is it right here. Good drop shot rod, I'm guessing. Probably a good shaky head rod. It says moderate tip, but it's a little bit faster than that, which I like. I don't dislike that at all. Um, and it's a decent looking rod. I think these are like this is like an $80 rod. This does not feel and or look like an $80 rod. The rods that I haven't really used yet are the uh, Yampakwa, Yampakwa, and the Balance, and the 6.6 six Rush, and then the Phantom Spinning, and then of course this reel and the Yampa reel. So yeah, there's, there's my unboxing. Again, I gotta reiterate, if you guys wanna check out any of these rods, and or reels for yourself. I'll leave them all linked in the description below as to where you can pick them up. I wanna make this easy for you guys. Um, Favorite's been a huge supporter of this channel and I like their stuff. I was with, I've been sponsored by uh, a lot of companies in the past and thus far the dudes over at Favorite have been the most supporting and understanding and most flexible with my dysfunctional uh, channel and video life. So they're, they're great people and they're really understanding. Check out their stuff. Yeah, anyway, I, I don't know. This was like a kickback video. This is me just kind of getting the unboxings back to life as it is getting kind of cold and I'd like to ease back into the unboxing because I miss them. I know a lot of you guys miss the old unboxings and so do I. So if you guys want to see more of these, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe I'll unbox some stuff that's not even fishing related. I'm not the type to go like unbox stuff and then like be serious about it. Like whatever I unbox is just gonna, it's gonna be a kickback. You know, be like one-on-one -on -one with us. We'll, we'll both be learning about new products for the first time. And uh, 
hopefully you guys enjoy, enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys had an amazing week. Caught lots of fish. Stay safe out there, guys. It's getting cold. Get your ice rods ready. If you live in Texas, get your big rods ready. And as always, keep fishing. Never stop.